Hi, and welcome to another one of my Tupperware recipe videos. This week I'm going to be using the Homemade is Better book published by Tupperware Home Parties in 1981. In my first video I touched upon the various mixes recipes that ran throughout the book, basic sauces and dish bases that could be prepared in bulk, stored in Tupperware and used in various other recipes at a later date. The book quotes, create hearty main dishes from homemade mixes that shortcut traditional scratch cooking. The rise in women's liberation, the equal rights movement and an increase in the costs of living saw a fantastic boom of women entering the workforce in the 1980s. The percentage of American women in paid employment had increased from 26% in 1950. Well, there's someone here to see you. Are you Mr. Bradshaw, the foreman? Yes. Mr. Donnelly up in personnel said for me to give you this card. I'm your new uh, bearings inspector. Oh to 67% by the mid-80s. Women were suddenly pulled in different directions, feeling pressure to earn a living for themselves and still undertake the caring duties of wife and mother. As the percentage of working women increased, so did the rise of highly processed convenience foods. What is it, Cynthia? What is it? <laughs> giblet gravy and sliced turkey! Yes, giblet gravy and sliced turkey! By promoting these pre-made, homemade mixes, Tupperware was in a way catering to this new social demand. It was giving women the option to lead fast-paced 1980s lifestyles, whether in the boardroom or on the school run, and also feel like they hadn't cheated their families from a traditional home-cooked meal, just like their grandmothers had provided before them. I feel like this principle still resonates with many of us today. All of us now lead such busy lives and processed food has certainly fallen out of fashion. I'm going to demonstrate this to you by making Tupperware's Italian sauce mix. As there are only two people in my house and lockdown has put an end to any lavish entertaining, I'm going to reduce the ingredients to a third, but we'll include a full list of ingredients as shown in the book in the description below. First step, I'm going to grate two carrots using my Tupperware grater. See how conveniently the grated carrot falls directly into the bowl? Then I'll finally chop two onions. Chopping onions has never been my favourite kitchen chore. However, luckily I have my handy Chopomatic. This nifty gadget first appeared on the market in 1956 to allow you to chop vegetables finely and quickly as an alternative to the food processor. I find it fun to use if a little terrifying to wash up. With a little bit of oil, I'm going to cook the onions, garlic and carrots in my lovely Dutch oven. If you haven't guessed by now, brown, almond and orange are my favourite kitchen colours. Once the onions are soft but not brown, I'll add the undrained tinned tomatoes along with the sugar, salt, basil, oregano, pepper and two bay leaves. And I'll leave this gently to boil uncovered for an hour and a half, stirring every so often. This sauce was a person I'd get naked and make love to her. Now that the sauce has reduced, the Tupperware recipe calls for it to be blended until nice and smooth. Today I'm going to be using my vintage Moulinex Immersion Blender. The Immersion Blender was first patented by Swiss engineer Roger Perignat in 1950, and the bar mix standing for beat and mix was born. Although successful commercially, it wasn't until the 1980s and the rise of more adventurous cooking that the Immersion Blender left the home show and entered domestic kitchens. I picked up this particular blender in a charity shop and have managed to find it in the Argos catalogue from 1992. Once the sauce is as smooth as you'd like it, it's time to store it in Tupperware. I'm using one of my trusty tool square rounds, label it up and pop it in the fridge or freezer. This quick and simple mix has saved me time to create delicious homemade meals in the future. See you next time and thanks for watching.